going on, friends? It's Dave the Forager here. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorites, and that's milkweed. You've all seen milkweed. You break the leaves off, and it uh, has that uh, milky latex-type substance. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about. You can actually eat that, believe it or not. Uh, but there are some poisonous lookalikes, and we need to make sure we talk about that. And that is dog bane. Okay? So, uh, sorry about the back of uh, me here, the road noise. We are sitting right here uh, on uh, George Street, the old Susquehanna Trail, excuse me. And uh, right by uh, beautiful Lake Williams, uh, which uh, you'll see another picture here in a second. But what we're talking about here is this gorgeous beauty, milkweed. Okay, you can see these buds, the tops here. That's what you want, okay? These beautiful buds. And you just kind of break those off and saute them in salt and pepper and butter and eat them up. They are fantastic. It's so delicious. It reminds me of uh, like um, broccolini or, uh, you know, a very mild uh, spinach, but, uh, you know, more the texture of like broccoli. Okay, so let's talk about some of the distinguishing features here. Uh, we have just a straight stalk, okay, with milkweed. It's coming up here. Do have we have some little purple uh, splotches? Hopefully you can see all this. Sorry. So we have some little purple splotches in the stem. Okay. Sometimes it'll be all green, but it's just one single stalk going straight up, and the leaves are uh, alternately uh, set. Okay. So one going this way, one going that way. And of course, if we rip off a leaf, you're gonna see that milky substance start coming out. So when you are harvesting these, um, you know, it can get a little bit messy. Uh, so, you know, I like to use paper bags or a basket or something like that that you don't mind that milky sap getting onto. Um, this isn't something that you wanna eat uh, raw. I don't know, maybe some people do, I've never heard of that, but uh, I just take these uh, buds before the flowers open um, they're going to open up into these beautiful pink flowers, uh, purple flowers. Um, but uh, before, if you can get it before that, then that is when it is the best. Now, um, there's something else we want to talk about with this. And, it's, you know, I'm going to show you some more uh, of the characteristics of the leaf here. Um, kind of ovate leaves. It's fuzzy on the bottom. If you're to get water on the bottom of that, it'll kind of just ball up and roll off. But the top is much smoother, okay? Not hairy like that. And the stem is very smooth as well, okay? Very smooth stem. And that's going to come up here, and it has all of these little buds. But uh, what I was going to say is... Um, this doesn't grow as well as it used to, okay? Um, it's been taken out, and this is a huge food source for the uh, monarch butterfly and a lot of other butterflies. So this is a uh, plant that you really want to practice um, uh, conservation, ethical harvesting, uh, very limited harvesting. You don't want to just take all of these buds off, all right? Um, you want to be fair, and you want to give some to the other creatures out here that also utilize this. So what I'll do is, you see this one right here, we got one, two, three, four, five buds. If it's only that many, I might take two and let these three up here on the top for the butterflies, okay? And then I'll move to another plant, and I'll take maybe a couple off of this one. I don't want to rip the plant up. I want to let this keep growing for the butterflies and the other creatures out here that love it as well. Um, and you see here some more young ones. All right. So you want to do sustainable harvest with milkweed for sure. Okay. So great plant. It is gorgeous when it flowers. It gets those big pods on it too. Uh, the seed pods. Um, that's going to be closer to the uh, summer and the fall. Um, and if you can get those seed pods early, those are actually edible as well. Um, the insides, before it gets all fluffy, because they get these uh, really feathery seed pods, uh, they break open and then the wind catches it and spreads the seeds. Um, before that happens, and when they're really young, it's almost like uh, people have compared it to cheese, uh, the inside of it. Um, and you can eat that uh, seed pod. You can fry them up, uh, batter them, uh, do whatever you like. Um, i got to be honest, I have never eaten them that way. I've only eaten these buds here, so you're going to want to look more into that. Uh, but those are also edible. I've also uh, heard that these top leaves are uh, edible as well. 
Um, but uh, you know, I'll just take a couple. Um, I'll just take a couple uh, buds here and there, and that's uh, all I eat. And you can see uh, we have some uh, more growing out here. Okay. But uh, there's not a whole ton of it. But now what we should do is we should talk about its poisonous lookalike, okay? And that's dog bane, all right? Very, very poisonous. You don't want to make the mistake and uh, mix these two up, okay? Uh, we just talked about the uh, milkweed. So let's see if we can't find some dog bane. And I did see some just over here. Uh, I'm going to apologize again for the road noises. We're going to be very close to the road up here. But uh, they grow in the same environments, all right, very close to each other uh, all the time. So you really need to make sure that you can distinguish between these two. Uh, but there are some very um, easy characteristics to uh, tell these apart. And I'll show you those here in just a second. Okay, so here we are. All right, here is our milkweed poisonous look-alike. Okay, and that is dog bane. Okay, you can see it looks very similar. The buds, the leaves, very similar. It's not as fuzzy on the bottom of these leaves. And you can also see the leaves are not quite as big as they were on that milkweed, okay? But here's another thing that's very important that you can see. And that is all these branches. Okay, the milkweed didn't do that. It just had the leaves coming out, oppositely set on the branch. Whereas this is actually branching. Another big uh, characteristic is you see how red that stem is. Okay, here's another one. It's very red, dog mane, the stems. Here's another one here, okay? But if you look, if I pull this leaf off here, you're gonna see it gets that same white milky sap. Can you see that? I'll just pretend you answered me yes. So yeah, so milky sap, you know, anywhere you rip it, you're gonna see that stuff come out. Not so much here. I have heard that if you take, uh, now this relates back to the milkweed, if you uh, cut the plant uh, towards the base of the leaf or something like that, if you're harvesting leaves uh, at the base of the leaf and let the, milk, the latex, um, or it's not really latex, but the, milky sap drain out there then you won't have it as much in the leaf but i really don't see the point for that you know you're just going to be harvesting the bud just harvest the bud deal with the mess wash them when you get home and then saute them up and eat them it's not going to hurt you so you don't even have to let that bleed out but uh again here dog bane very similar but we have branching off of the stems we have a red stem okay much smaller leaves and you can see these buds aren't quite the same they're not really uh, big broccoli looking heads. I mean, they are when they're small, but they're not as big. Again, they're very, very small. Uh, the milkweed is much larger. Okay, so that's dog bane. And look, you can see here all that white milky sap. This bad boy is poisonous. Do not eat this. Don't mistake it for the um, milkweed. Okay, so that's it today. That is dog bane, poisonous, milkweed, edible. You can eat the pods, you can eat the uh, small growth leaves on the top, and you can also eat the delicious buds, which I think is the gold when it comes to eating uh, milkweed. Um, but very important, you know, you gotta do some sustainable harvesting with that milkweed. Uh, you know, leave some for the monarchs. Uh, they are threatened and uh, they make the longest journey of any insect on the planet uh, when they uh, travel north and south in their um, migration. So, uh, yeah, hook them up too. But don't forget to hook yourself up. Butter, salt, pepper, a little garlic, saute them up, eat it up. 
Let me know what you think. I think it's freaking fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorites. All right, guys, that's it for Dave the Forager today. As always, thank you so much for watching. It's great having you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, folks.